Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today I have my Invisalign in and I have a list. It, it is what it is, okay? Today we're gonna be having a little at-home hair salon moment. We are gonna be dyeing and cutting my hair today. Obviously, there's no salons right now. I mean, I'm sure there probably is, but are we going on to salons right now? I'm not. I never really did in the first place. That's just never been my thing. I'm gonna be cutting my bangs today. A lot of people ask how I cut my bangs at home. And I just always thought that's what you did. I never thought about calling up a salon and being like, hey, I need my bangs cut. Not saying that's a bad idea at all. That sounds great. That sounds like a great idea. My brain just never computed that. Since I was 14, I just been snip, snip, snipping, and it's worked out well enough for me. So I'm gonna show you how I do that today. First things first, I'm gonna pull out some bangs here. It doesn't really matter which side my hair is parted on because I do it all different ways. No biggie, all the bangs are just going to the front. So my bangs are pretty long right now. Look at that. When I curl them, they do shrink up a little bit, but still that's too much. Like if they're in my eyelashes and I can't see and they're getting stuck in my eyelashes, it's over, it's done. You need to cut them things or let them grow out. I remember when I first said I was gonna cut bangs in my hair, everybody said just get those clip-on bangs like from Amazon and you know, see how you like them first. Okay, let's get some clip-on bangs from Amazon. Okay, hold on. Let's get some clip-on bangs from Amazon, guys. Back to where we were at. If you see any little particles or anything white in my roots, it's just dry shampoo. Do not worry. I just sprayed a little dry shampoo so that my hair wasn't looking, you know, greasy at all. I didn't want to wash it before this because we're gonna wash it when I dye it anyways. All I do here is I just do what makes sense. Just trim, just crust, just cut it straight across. This is gonna give you hair all over your face. Did I need to put makeup on for this? No. Watch me cut my fake eyelash off. Keep in mind though, you definitely have to go a little bit at kind of an angle like this because if you cut this all up here short the same length, see this has to be a little bit longer because if you cut it all up here the same length, when you pull this hair back, it's gonna be shorter than these pieces. To my brush, do a little boop, 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 boop. Try to get some of that off. Not like we're going anywhere tonight. Actually, I'm going to the grocery store to pick up some groceries. Hopefully the person that knocks on the window and puts my groceries away likes my hairstyle. You know, that's all we got tonight. I cleaned up about as much as I could. And like I said, I don't want my bangs straight down like this. I always curl them under. So they're probably gonna sit about here, right above my eyebrows. So that's perfect for me. They're gonna be nice and short once I curl them under. So this length is perfection. Chef's kiss. Time to go ahead and dye our hair. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use real quick. In the efforts of being less messy, because this is my first time dyeing my hair in my new house. And um, they probably frown upon me staining anything. I got a bottle applicator instead of a brush because brushes are really messy. I don't know why I don't usually do it this way. I'm applying it on the whole head. We're not just doing roots. We're just gonna throw it on the whole head. Um, I got some 10 volume developer and I got two different hair colors, but I'm gonna end up using the 3N because I don't want it to be too dark. These hair extensions aren't like soft black. They're very dark brown. I got 2N and 3N. These are just three neutral and two neutral going by the levels of depth in your hair. So obviously like a 1N is gonna be like a jet black. I'm not a hairstylist, that's just like my knowledge of what I know, and that's it. Then I got some gloves, only to come home and realize that I already had gloves that aren't even open yet. So, we love wasting money, you know? They're reusable. I didn't need another pack. It's looking like one to two parts, hopefully that's enough in that bottle. Uh, this is about one and a half ounces. So we're gonna do about three ounces of developer and one and a half ounces of dye. And you might be wondering like, why am I dyeing my hair dark brown when my hair is already dark brown? Some of it looks ashy or just like unsaturated and some of it has a very red tone to it, which I'm not into. So that's why I got a neutral color dye. But this, my roots are obviously my natural hair color. I have not dyed my hair in so long. Probably about maybe this right here is dyed hair and the rest is all like my natural hair and I just don't like it. Let me, can you see? It's very brown, very not it. There's nothing wrong with brown hair. I just don't like the color of it. It just looks too, mm. it looks too, mm. Mm. think again, mm. no. I'm hoping this is gonna be a lot better. Oh shit, how are you gonna see my hair extensions? These are really long. I like cashing my hair to my ass. Like this is long. This really is to my ass. Breathe that 
All right, and that's gonna start changing colors. Very simple. Dark hair is very easy. Very simple, very quick. Just don't get on anything because it's not going away. It's, you're done, you're done. Getting some product in there. I try not to get it too much on my scalp because although it does make me look like I don't have bald spots, it also just looks stupid, so. You can also put Vaseline like around your baby hairs and that'll help it from getting stained all around. So I'm probably gonna do that in just a minute before I get in too deep because I don't wanna have stained up ears. If you don't know me, my name's Ashley. Nice to meet you and I love Vaseline. I keep this on me at all times, okay? I'm prepping to like pierce my own body. So don't test me, I've done it many times before. I feel like this is already looking way darker i'm kind of nervous and not because it's not like i've never had black hair before obviously i've had black hair many times I feel like that was always my go-to after i messed myself up bleaching all my hair out to a crisp this time i just want brown i want to look like a natural brown so that it goes with these hair extensions i already feel like it's gonna be hard to blend because my hair is so short but the added bonus of them not matching would really just kick it up a notch Look at me with my bun, look it. She can do a bun. That was the gloves, that was literally the gloves, wow. They really just played me like that. So I think I'm about good here. I'm gonna let this sit for only about 30 minutes because it's not gonna be too crazy of a difference. I just need these roots to look a little bit more fire. And I'll come back when it's all done. Are you ready? Why I sound like the Zoe 101 theme song? Are you ready? Ooh, here we have it, the hair, it is darker and we have no more ashy roots. This is a little bit straightened, blow dried, and combed out. So we're ready to put in the hair extensions. I literally cut this much out of the hair extensions in layers, hoping that that will help a little bit because my hair is really short right now. So these ones I have here are from the brand Insert Name Here. This is not sponsored at all, but I do have a coupon code with them. So if you want to pick up anything, definitely use my code. I would appreciate it very much. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and start sectioning off the hair. I'm gonna take a little three clip first because it's so much smaller, so it should fit like right in the back of my head. one more long one in the back because I want to save the littler ones for the front so I have like a nice hopefully blend this is definitely giving me like fine girl vibes you know what I'm talking about very Instagram baddie vibes with the long hair I have two of these two clip ones right here which I think will fit perfect so let's go ahead and put those Okay, wah, wah, wah. That's the vibe I'm getting right now. Right now? This is not looking too bad. I'm not even mad at it. Let's see what happens though when we let down our 
little strands of hair here. Hopefully to hide this in the front, I have two of these little guys. I do have one more. I really must have lost the other one because normally I would take like a little one like this and you obviously could put it up here if you needed it. But I really like to put one down here, especially if you're gonna put your hair to the front because just like camouflages all the little hairs that are sticking down under here. So I have my handy dandy, also cheap, like my hair straightener, Conair curling iron. So this is the same one I use in my styling my short hair video. If you guys haven't seen that already, go watch it because I like it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, let's see, up here. Way shorter now, like I said. And I always do my bangs like this, so that's why I don't like to cut them too short. They will fall a little bit and I like to just kind of comb them down slightly. But if I cut them too short, then we'll just be rocking some tiny bangs. That wasn't looking cute at all, so I decided I'm gonna pull out the big guns, which is this cute little baby right here. I put her a little too close to my face, but I'm gonna do wavy hair. I've been wanting to do this for, ever since I got this, which I've actually had it for like months now. It's actually also from Insert New Here. And I've been seeing this everywhere. I've been really wanting to do this hairstyle. And I just didn't think it would look good on my short hair. Look at my face and look at this. This is huge. I'm just going over the spots where my natural hair meets the extensions real quick so that the hairs aren't like sticking out and they're hopefully just laying flat with the rest of the hair. But damn, I think we're done and she looks kind of good. Wow, I'm glad I took the time to use this because I literally have had this sitting in a box for like a month now and I've just been too lazy to pop everything out, do the extensions, do the hair. And she's a look. I cannot lie. I'll go ahead and insert some full body so that you guys can see the whole thing it is all the way down to the waist. Like the hair looks good. Oh, man, I'm a brand new person. Thank you for coming to Ashley's Bathroom Salon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will go ahead and link the products down below in case you guys wanna pick them up. I think everything came out real cute, so I'm very, very excited. Let me know down below in the comments if there are any other hairstyles that you want me to try, either for short hair or long hair. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna feel like straightening this back out, but if you guys really ask for it, we'll see. I don't think it looked that good, but this might be my new go-to style, the long wavy. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Do not forget to like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.